Happy holidays, cloud gurus. I'm Matthew Lazen, and welcome to the final Azure this week of 2022. Like last week, we are a bit light on news as we approach the end of the year. However, I promise that you will not want to miss today's episode. We'll learn how a recent study measured the real world return on investment of modernizing applications with Azure Managed Services, and then we're gonna have some fun with a little product called ChatGPT, which has taken the tech world by storm within the past few weeks. This is going to be a really fun demo that you will not want to miss. So with that, let's jump in and get started. Tis the season for studies, apparently. Microsoft recently partnered with Forrester to measure the real world return on investment that comes from modernizing legacy applications to take advantage of managed cloud services. The end result of this study is that cloud modernization provided a measurable 228% return on investment over a period of three years, which is huge. Now, for further context, application modernization is defined as ending investments in on-premises infrastructure and migrating applications to run on managed services like Azure's app service, as opposed to a simple lift and shift operation to a cloud-based virtual machine. Now, this huge return on investment was calculated from a number of factors, like cost savings from not having to purchase on-site infrastructure, reduced administration costs, increasing efficiency to develop applications, increased uptime for scaling applications, and finally, time saved by bringing applications to market faster than ever before. Overall, the same size teams that worked on on-premises applications were able to operate faster and more efficiently when using managed Azure services, letting them focus on more valuable tasks as opposed to simply managing infrastructure with better uptime to boot. Very impressive. Moving on, let's have a little bit of fun with ChatGPT. Now, if you haven't been paying attention to tech news in the past few weeks, ChatGPT is a revolutionary AI chatbot developed by a company called OpenAI. They've also closely partnered with Microsoft. In fact, ChatGPT was trained by Azure's machine learning services and is also currently hosted on Azure infrastructure as well. And it is, to put it mildly, really impressive, as we're going to find out. It can do pretty much anything you can imagine, from writing poems, creating blog posts on different subjects, and even creating or troubleshooting different types of code functions. In fact, it's so impressive that in the past week, many publications are praising ChatGTP with statements like, AI is having its iPhone moment, which is a really bold statement to make. And it's also available for the general public to do, well, whatever you can think of. Now, it does have some limitations, such as no guarantee of 100% factual accuracy. In other words, don't rely on it to write your college term papers, at least not quite yet. Regardless, it is still an amazing leap forward for conversational AI. With that in mind, let's go ahead and see it in action. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the demo of working with ChatGPT. First things first, if you want to play with ChatGPT yourself, and I highly recommend doing so, just go to the site chat.openai.com and you can easily create a free account in there. You can use your own username and password and you can use an existing Microsoft or Google identity as well. Right now, it is free for anyone to use, so definitely go check it out. Once we're logged into ChatGPT and ready to get started, you can view a quick synopsis of what it's capable of and also some of its current limitations. You can easily click on one of these examples or you can come up with your own, which we'll demonstrate here in just a second. Also note some of the limitations on the right side, such as it may occasionally generate incorrect information. In other words, be sure to fact check what it comes out with. And also be aware that ChatGPT doesn't really know current events in the world after 2021. So if you're asking what has happened in the past week, well, it's simply not going to know that. Okay, let's go ahead and start with a few examples here of what exactly it can do. And as I said, really the only limit is your imagination. Let's go ahead and start off with an example of, let's say I want to create a blog post on the benefits of Microsoft Azure using specifically three bullet points. Well, I can simply type in the bottom, or in my case, I'm copy and pasting for demonstration's sake, asking GPT to generate a blog post on the benefits of Azure with three bullet points. If I then hit enter, it's going to think about it for a second, and then you're going to see in real time it generating that blog post with the parameters that I ask of it. 
And after about maybe 20 seconds of waiting, we can see that it is generating our blog post with specifically three bullet points in real time. In this case, it's noting benefits such as scalability, reliability, and security for Microsoft Azure. And when it's done, well, now we have a new blog post ready to go. Now, another clever feature is that if we don't quite like the results of this output, we can go ahead and regenerate a brand new response based on the same parameters by clicking our regenerate response button right here. In fact, if we go ahead and do that now and wait about another 30 seconds or so, we have an alternative blog post, again with three bullet points. This time though, using scalability and flexibility as one bullet point, combining reliability and security into another, and integration with Microsoft products as the third. Furthermore, if you wanna look at multiple responses, you can click the little arrow here in the top left to cycle between your different responses, and you can choose which one you want and go ahead and use it from there. And just like that, you have a new blog post with your specifications ready to go. Awesome. Okay, let's do something a little bit more creative and a bit more fun. This time I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create a heartwarming poem about a poor puppy that loses and then finds its favorite toy. Let's see what it can do. And then after about 30 seconds of waiting, we now have a heartwarming poem complete with rhymed lines about our poor puppy who lost and then found its toy. Now what's interesting here is that you can regenerate this response multiple times and sometimes the rhyming scheme is a little bit different between each response. So now if you want to write a cute poem for a children's book, well there you go. Moving on, let's do something a little bit more technical and see if we can ask ChatGPT to create a Python function to find prime numbers in a range between 1 and 100. Let's go ahead and submit this code request and see what it comes up with. And at the end, we have one of my favorite types of responses in that not only does it generate the code for you, it makes it extremely easy to simply copy your code and paste it into your favorite code editor, and it even explains how that particular piece of code works. And just like that, we now have a Python function for finding prime numbers between 1 and 100. We can take this one step further by continuing the conversation by asking ChatGPT to do the exact same code function this time using a different library. In this case, I'm gonna ask it to generate the same type of code this time using .NET by typing do the same with .NET. And after about 30 seconds or so, it's going to remember the previous conversation in which we asked it to create a function for Python and it will do the exact same with .NET. Now for this one for .NET, it actually went a step further and provided a function to enter my beginning and ending ranges and then a little bit further down, it shows how to use that function within the rest of my .NET code. Now, if we did not like this response, we could simply click on regenerate response and it would bring back a similar function, although it will think about it a second time, maybe our results will be a little bit different. From a development perspective, this is really promising in that if you can't quite figure out the syntax for a specific function or problem you're trying to solve, you can simply ask ChatGPT to go ahead and solve it for you, which is really cool stuff. Now these examples are barely scratching the surface. If you do a simple Google search for cool things you can do with ChatGPT, there have been countless blog articles with some really amazing examples if you wanna follow along with those as well. Overall, ChatGPT looks to be a huge leap forward for AI and I can't wait to see what the future holds for this service. Well, folks, that's going to wrap up this year-end edition of Azure This Week. As always, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you today. I hope you had some fun and learned something new as well. Until then, see you next year and keep being awesome, cloud gurus.